I'm gonna make quiche. It is the ultimate way to use leftovers and you can literally clear out your fridge making one of these. I'm gonna use some spinach, chopped broccoli, cheddar cheese, chopped mushrooms and onions, and we're just gonna combine that with eggs, milk, and fat-free creme fraiche. First, get a sheet of short crust pastry, thawed at room temperature, and this one comes in a circle already so it's perfect for the tin. Very gently, just tuck it into the corners. You don't want any of the pastry to stretch because it's just gonna contract right back when it bakes. Use your thumb and just break off a little piece around the edge to get the excess pastry off. It's ready to go in the oven, but you need to blind bake it first. So get a piece of parchment paper that's cut a little larger than the tin and fill it with rice or baking beans or baking weights. You just wanna weigh the pastry down so it doesn't puff up when it's in the oven. And it will bake at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. Now that the pastry's in the oven, you can get started on the mixture. Just melt 15 grams of butter, and you're gonna add one chopped onion. Just cook the onions for about four to five minutes until they're soft and translucent. So now that your onions are nice and soft, we're gonna add the rest of the vegetables. And just stir those together for about another four or five minutes until all the vegetables are nice and soft. While the vegetables are cooking and the pastry's in the oven, I'm just gonna whisk the wet ingredients together. So three eggs that have already been beaten with 100 milliliters of skim milk and 100 grams of fat-free creme fraiche. Just whisk those together till it's nice and smooth and the creme fraiche is gonna make it kind of velvety and rich. At this point, the pastry should be totally cooked and nice and golden brown. So you're just gonna take out your rice and parchment paper and then actually pop it back into the oven for about another 10 minutes. Take the pastry out of the oven and just brush it with one beaten egg. I'm gonna cook it for another two minutes and it's gonna have a great golden color. So now that the vegetables are cooked, I'm just gonna stir in the spinach and cook that for about a minute or two. Now you're ready to fill it. Start with the vegetables and top the vegetable mixture with the eggs. I just sprinkle the cheese on top. Just bake this for 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius until the top is nice and golden. 